Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. Today is Memorial Day in the United States and it's a day of remembrance for us. And in honor of that, I'd like to go ahead and remember some of the people that made my channel what it is today and helped me get my start. Well, first and foremost, I have to thank you, the fans of my channel. I started off with 15 subscribers in November of 2018 and now look where I am, almost 10,000. And you've been quick whenever I ask you for anything to respond out in the community section. For example, I asked what you guys didn't like about my videos, and I got 58 responses. And these are all really good responses that gave me information that I could use to make the channel better. And I want to thank you all for your feedback and the input that you've given me. You've made me a better YouTube creator, and this has been really a great, a great journey for me. I've had a lot of fun learning how to do this, and you guys helped me do it. Now, the style that I use for my channel is inspired by this man, Australia's Austin Powers, Wolfie6020. A professional pilot, a gentleman, and a scholar who always explained things rather than attack. He and fellow Australian Critical Think were instrumental in some of my early videos. And as a matter of fact, it was Wolfie's shout out that got me past 100 subscribers. Now, nobody really knows who Wolfie is. He is a very private person and guards his identity quite carefully. He's never been shown on camera. But through my contacts in the Freemason Society and my high IQ friends at Mensa, I was able to obtain this footage of Wolfie 6020 in his natural environment for the first time on YouTube. Now I continued to make videos getting better every time as my skills increased and I came to the attention of Simon Dan who gave me a shout out and another 500 subscribers. Thanks Simon. By the way Dan, if you'd like to do that again, that would be really cool. Now, there are a number of other YouTubers that I drew a lot of inspiration from. Sly Sparkane is one of them. Miles Davis with his bridge photographs were another one. Dang Josh was one of my early favorites because he did some really good experiments with liquid nitrogen and refraction. But I think one of the big ones that I really liked was this gentleman right here, Conspiracy Cats. And I've probably watched every one of his videos. And uh, I'll tell you, he's entertaining. He's a great teacher. And he taught me a lot about making YouTube videos for educational purposes. Now, on my newly designed logo, which is based on the lapels of a tweed jacket of a teacher, you can see a little homage to Mr. Conspiracy Cats. Now, if you look at this, you see the lapels of my jacket. You also see the symbol for science and my aviator wings. But if you use your imagination a little bit and change those wings into whiskers, what do you see? This is a great opportunity for you to look for that symbol in the right lower corner of this video. Go ahead and click it and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. You know, in addition to role models, we also need targets. And I want to thank the Flat Earth community for providing a target-rich environment. For example, some of my earliest videos were on this gentleman, Fouquet Word, and we'll be having a few more. Most recently, Sleeping Warrior has received a lot of my attention, as is this gentleman, Mr. Nathan Oakley. But we have a couple more that are going to be coming up very soon, so you can expect some videos on our friends over at Jaronism, and our favorite prover of rotation, Globebusters. Now there's another group that I would like to specifically thank, and that is the creative artists that have been in contact with me. For example, the first was back in January, and that's Declan6914 here on Instagram. Declan is a sculptor from Dublin, Ireland, who has created some really beautiful works and I suggest that you check out his Instagram account and have a look at them because they're just really fantastic. He contacted me and said that he wanted to send me a flat earth sculpture just in honor of me doing a, a channel on them. And uh, 
we talked about it a little bit, and I thought that would be a, just a wonderful idea because I really like his work. I think it's pretty cool stuff. And uh, it took a couple of months, but he went ahead and uh, actually got it. And let me show it to you real quick. You know, first are these two little guys. And they're really nice quality pieces. Now, as you can see, they're a good size piece and they're, they've got felt on the base and they've actually got a little bit of weight to them. They're really kind of cool. And the level of detail on them is just amazing. Now, if you look on the left here, you'll see my matrix guy. And as you can see, uh, very, very nicely detailed. And on the right, we have our, our It's Flat T-shirt man. So those are the two little pieces. Now, the big piece is actually this one right here. And I'm going to show you some nice up-close shots of that. As you can see, that's actually on the thumbnail that we have for this video. And it's a really nice quality piece, and the level of detail on this is just absolutely amazing. So let's see, can you see that? We'll get a little better shot of it here in a minute. So what you can see on this is not only does it have the sculpted uh, flat earth with the clouds, which are set up on wires, it's got this beautiful shot of the moon with the good ship Flatus uh, in one of the eyes. And uh, this is going to be a big feature on my future videos. So if you get a chance, have a look at Declan's uh, work and maybe send him an order or two. I didn't ask for this. He simply offered it. He sent it all the way from Ireland, wouldn't even accept postage from me. And uh, I'm really looking forward to continuing my association with him. So thank you all very much for having a look at him. Now, the next artist that I wanted to talk about was this gentleman, Canadian Thomas. He contacted me and said, hey, Bob, you've got a really good channel out there. How would you like a theme song? I'd like to do one for you. And uh, that is how my theme song came about. He asked me if I had any music that I liked. And I uh, gave him Knocking on Heaven's Door, uh, done by masterful harp guitarist Jamie Dupree from Canada, who is actually a fan of the channel. He gave me permission to use the music, and Canadian Thomas actually wrote all the words. Now, I'd like to play that for you, but before we do, I want to make mention of a couple of other things that I do. Down here, you'll see Brainy Beaver and Dead Kennedys in Space. These are both YouTube creators that I've highlighted on my channel. I have a habit of highlighting small YouTube creators that have really nice content. And I think you guys ought to go check out both of these guys and Canadian Thomas. They could all use a few subs. Well, guys, I'm going to close out here. I have a personal motto in life, and I'm going to share it with you real quick. Know where you're going. Remember where you came from. And never forget those that helped you along the way. And that's one of the reasons that I made this video, because a lot of people have helped me to get to the point that I am right now on YouTube. So if you have a second, please remember to just kind of go right down there, hit the like and subscribe button, just click on my, uh, my icon, and you'll subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to let you close out with Canadian Thomas, Jamie Dupree, and the Bob the Science Guy theme. See you later.
world is spinning round And gravity's pulling us down Let's curvature cause Earth is round No firm on them to be found The science guy Bob, Bob, Bob The science guy Bob, Bob, Bob The science guy Bob, Bob, Bob The science guy Flat Earth is just a belief to be found Talk my gives me no relief The ignorance is profound Bob, Bob, Bob the science guy Bob, Bob, Bob the science guy Science guy, Earth a nation, no education.